Hello, njroot22.com here with a quick, hopefully quick, explanation of this is a high end of the cheap wine. This is something we picked up, um, what we've had before, it's called 14 Hands. And this is a wine called Hot to Trot Red Blend. Um, it's, a, it's a 2017 Columbia Valley, I guess that's California, and it's 13.5% alcohol. This passes the two bottle test, even at 13.5. We, we typically find that the lower alcohol wines do not pass, there's a 50-50 chance they don't pass the, the two bottle test where I don't feel like utter garbage the next day. But this bottle of wine is 10 bucks in, in most stores. Let me focus again on it. 10 bucks, which is the high end of my cheap wine category. I mean, if I go anything above $10, it's, we're getting into a moderate price. And when you're in the 20 and $30 range, you're, you're getting into the higher price ones. And then we're not even gonna go near the, the $20, or I mean $100 bottle of wine. No way, why? Anyway, real quick. I like the flavor of this. This is, uh, it has a very pleasing flavor. I'm not gonna get into exactly the nuances on which part of my tongue, hey, the fifth quadrant in the left side of my tongue liked it. No, this has, it's just a very, very, very well rounded flavor. It, it's, you could tell that the winemakers probably put a little effort into, into refining the, the wine, which is great, but, in the end, the buzz is the same. Um, it's just this flavor experience you have for a few minutes so while you sip it near you. Know, mm, mm. <sighs> anyway. So for, let's just say, argument's sake, uh, $11 with tax. What are you gonna do with that chain? It's gonna end up in your like seat cushion somewhere. So, for a two bottle night, it's $22. Now, hang on a second, I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk over here and get this bottle of wine. We talked about this recently, this uh, Rex Goliath. We talked about it like two videos ago. The ones that have Thirteen and a half. I see it's not focusing. Thirteen and a half percent. I think it's focusing. The Rex Goliath is ten ninety nine, so it's like twelve dollars for a two bottle. Twenty two dollars. So ten dollars difference in a night. You know, let's just say you drank two of these a night, and one of these a night. 10, let's say you drank 365 days a year. That's $3,650. 10 times 365, yeah. For the same net result, I mean, the, the level of pleasure I get with this, and again, I water it down so like maybe, maybe some of you sit there and you, you quantum analyze every damn sip you take. Oh, it's so much better, no. It, it, the, the pleasure factor is like one tick like out of a hundred. So if this is a, a, a 57 pleasure factor out of a hundred, this is a 58, maybe a 59. It, it's so like one or two percentage points better in taste, in my opinion. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of um, subjective as they say. And, and, but I don't think paying $3,650 a year for two of these a night versus $3,650 less dollars a year for one of these a night. Well, that's another story. This uh, Rex Goliath 13.5 is gonna go away. I found it luckily. Um, but th so that's it. I mean, I, I'm not gonna talk about the finishes or the pairings or, the, or how it lingers or anything like that. This is a good tasting wine. If you want to treat yourself um, to something that's a little bit on, a little bit better. I mean, better again is subjective. 
after a couple glasses anyway, I think that the, the taste kind of numbs itself out and I, th I think this uh, Rex Goliath is fine. Um, but again, everybody wants, to, there maybe everybody's a perfectionist and they just want to have this perfect utopia of taste uh, sensation. I don't know. It's a fascinating industry to say the least. Um, so, this passes the test, it costs more, it's up to you whether you want to spend the money or not on it. I don't think it's necessary if, you, if you're if you swimming in, in dollar bills and you, and you just don't know what to do with it, sure, why not, you know, live a little, as they say, live a little. But uh, some people want to, to keep their money, uh, you know, preserved. And this is what you'll want to do instead. If you can find the 13.5, do not buy the 13.0. You will regret it. I promise you. <laughs> Look at the Rex Goliath uh, free range red video if you want to know why. It, it, there's some, they did something to it. So I'm, I'm not going to go. I'm not going to use Rex Goliath as a comparison anymore. But I, I've talked about them enough. Um, and if you have any suggestions for any cheap wine that that you think is uh, not only good. Like I said, any wine in limited moderation is fine. But if you, you, you got to try the two bottle test or whatever your mid range test is where you know if a hangover equals bad wine. So if you have anything, please uh, send some tips or e email us. We have all our info in the in comments below. Um, and that's it. So enjoy your wine, beer or, or spiked uh, seltzer or whatever you drink these days, but wine is what we're talking about. And oh, by the way, speaking of uh, spiked seltzer, we are going to do a, like a guest review of that. Even though this is cheap wine reviews, I'm going to bring up the uh, spiked seltzer in the next week or two because I have a lot to say about it. Well. Not a lot, but I, I have a pretty profound uh, statement about it. So stay tuned.